Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome to Factory Town. We're going to be starting a brand new series of this and I am really excited about it. So let's, uh, let's get into it. We're going to start a new game and we're going to leave everything default except that I have turned autoplay space off because I really want to do that myself. And, but other than that, everything will be default. So uh, let's create a map. There we go, map created. And we don't want to look at the tips, I've already read them, uh, so they're not that interesting. Uh, but let's see, where do we want to place our base? Hmm. We want grain nearby, trees nearby, and stone nearby. So, this doesn't look half bad. How's the terrain? Hmm. Looks pretty okay. Hmm. We have more grain down here. We have some coal deposits. Yeah. This looks pretty decent, so let's do that. Uh, let's build a base. Basically, fa Factory Town is about uh, setting up a village, uh, building a village, and uh, automating it. Uh, kind of like uh, Factorio. Uh, only in a little bit uh, different style but we are going to place our base down here and we are going to start out by gathering some wood so that we can continue and we're gonna follow the tutorial uh, so there. I should have one more worker but I don't for some reason okay Oh, I can build one. Uh, there. And get him going on some trees again. We're going to follow the tutorial which we have over here. And it wants us to build a house, which we have down here on our hotbar, number four. So, a house we want. It's a pretty big area here, so let's build a house here. And I think we'll build two immediately and move on to the next step create some workers place two new workers near your house so we need to generate happiness uh, for our house and uh, also the houses will generate coin for us we have 50 yellow coins as you can see up here and we're gonna need a lot of yellow coins so let's build the two workers that they told us and get them harvesting some green and bringing to each of the houses. So supply house is the one we're doing now. Yeah. So we're supplying the houses and as you can see this house now has one happiness and so does this one. And the workers will just keep going, picking up grain and delivering delivering it to the houses. So we've supplied the houses and now we need to build a path because our workers they walk much faster on paths. So let's build one so that they can move a little bit faster and generate more happiness and more coin for us. Build a lumber mill. Lumber mills turn wood into planks which you'll need for many buildings and upgrades. Gather five stone, open the build menu. All right, gather five stone. Let's uh, start out by doing that. Plop down two more workers and get them to gather some stone and bring to our base. Our base has an inventory here. You can see we have four slots. And this is a shared inventory, so anywhere uh, we want to build something, we have access to this inventory. But we can build four houses total at the moment. We can see that up here. And I think we want to do that. So let's build the last two houses here and get two more workers uh, going, uh, supplying grain to those houses. There we go. We have our stone, so uh, it's time to build a lumber mill. We have the lumber mill down here on the hot bar as well. And we want to put the lumber mill relatively close to the trees and to our base. So let's put that uh, here. And we need to uh, make some planks. 
So we're going to assign the planks recipe to the lumber mill and say OK. Bring enough wood to your lumber mill to craft a plank. All right, so we can do that. Let's take uh, one worker and two workers to bring uh, wood to the lumber mill. And then let's build one more worker and we will take him and send from the lumber mill to the base with the planks that are being created. So the lumber mill is uh, done and it wants us to collect planks, which we're doing. So that's done as well. And now we need to upgrade a house. Houses can be upgraded to increase the population limit. Upgraded houses will also consume goods faster, helping to earn you earn more corn. So let's uh, upgrade a house. We need 10 yellow coins and five planks to upgrade the house. Uh, so we can afford that right now, so let's do it. And as soon as we have another five planks, we will be upgrading another house as well. Next step of the tutorial is to upgrade our base. Okay, so the base is now level one. We can see that down here in the right hand corner. And we need 20 yellow coins, 10 planks, 20 stone and for happiness to be able to upgrade that. We have the for happiness, uh, we have the yellow coin, we have the stone, all we need uh, are some planks. And we have eight of them, so let's just uh, get up to ten and get our base upgraded. Alright, that's done. Upgrade the base, which means that we can now build four more houses if we want. But we don't need to right now because we still haven't upgraded three of the houses to level two. Basically, a house level one provides uh, two population, a house level two provides four population, a house level three will provide six population and so on. So it increases by two. So we've upgraded the base. Let's uh, move on to the next step of the tutorial, which is to build a food market. So the food market which we have in here actually uh, works in a way that instead of having four people bringing stuff to individual houses we can just bring it to the food market which has a catchment area you can see around here and every house inside that catchment area will actually uh, just be provided food automatically by the food market one as long as builders or workers are bringing food to it so let's build our food market and I think we'll build it. Where do we want to build it? Hmm. Could build it over here or we could build it over here. I think, whoops, wrong keys. I think, I think I want to build it over here because then we don't get as much water uh, in the area. So, and we have a lot of uh, area over here on the left for house building once we clear out those uh, those resources that are there. So let's build the food market here. And then let's, instead of going uh, to each house, we'll tell the workers to go to the food market instead. There. Grain mills turn grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price and is an ingredient in other goods. All right. So before we do anything, I want to upgrade a few more houses to level two. Let's just get all of them upgraded to level two so that we have some population up here to work with. So you can see we're using 12 out of possible 18 workers at the moment, and it'll be 20 now when we upgrade this house. So 12 out of 20. So a grain mill. Let's see, what do we need to build a grain mill? We need 30 yellow coins, 10 stone and 10 planks. So that's fine. Let's um, just get two more workers to get trees and bring to the lumber mill. Because we want this to go a little bit faster than it is at the moment. So we have five planks we need to get to, was it 10? 
yeah, ten planks, ten planks, then we can build our grain mill, which will be really, really good for us. And I think we'll put the grain mill down here, because then it can feed directly into the market, more or less. So there we have our planks, so let's build the grain mill and set a recipe of flour. So now we need to set our workers to go to the grain mill instead. You go to the grain mill and you go to the grain mill. And we'll need one more worker standing right here and taking flour to the food market. So, as you can see, the flower sold for five gold coins instead of the one that um, that the grain itself uh, provides. So that is really good. And if we go into our economy here, we can see that flower produces five uh, gold coins. Grain only produces one. And if we go into the grain mill, the flower only takes three grain to produce. So five coins for three grain uh, by producing flour instead of uh, one coin per grain. So that's a really, really good deal. So that's good. So we're selling flour. Let's move on. Build a workshop. The workshop lets you craft wood, wood wheels, conveyor belts, and many other useful and valuable items to help automate your town. All right, so a workshop. We have that here, and we can build it straight away. Uh, so we'll do that, and we will. Where, where do we want to put that? I think we'll put it down up here. And now we can actually see that we have the workshop, and there are a ton of recipes in here that we can make. Right now. I think we need to make uh, wood wheels, but we'll see. So barns are special shared storage structures. Any item you place there is usable when placing a new building or purchasing an upgrade. So <clears throat> let's build a barn. Uh, put the barn down here. And I think we'll just put it like that. And now we need to make a wagon. Wagons can move items at a time, four items at a time, but they cannot harvest items. They also move much faster on stone roads. So we need to make a wagon. So in order to do that, uh, let's see, workers, wagon, we need uh, four wood wheels, 10 planks, 40 coins, and a worker. So we need to get this workshop started on making the wood wheels, which means that we want uh, this, actually we will make a new guy and we will tell him to bring planks to the workshop. And we will get one more new guy and we will get him to bring wood wheels to the barn. All right. So this is actually full now of wood. Okay. Did I for did I take off the guy who's taking planks out of there? I think maybe I did. I think I did. Well, let's get one more guy. No, no, there he is. All right, then we don't need you anyway. <coughs> um, so we are making wood wheels. We have two so far, which is great. And you can actually, in here, in the barns, you can filter the uh, the slots, the four slots that are there, so that uh, only certain uh, specific items can be put in there, which is uh, pretty nice later on. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so do we have our four wood wheels soon? We have four wood wheels now. Excellent. So let's build our uh, wagon. 
then we will just put it down there. I don't think we actually need the wagon, wagon right now, but uh, it'll be fine. What we can do is we can take the wagon and say we want you to take planks over there. And then we can take... Uh, where are you going? Okay, you're going there. You're the plank guy. So we'll delete him, because the wagon can actually take four planks per trip, where the regular worker can only do one. So we want to get the planks out of there and into our base as fast as possible. All right. So we've created our wagon, and now we get to chutes, where the fun really begins. So chutes are handy ways to transport goods long distances. Note that only some items, mostly natural resources, will roll down chutes. Also, you may need to rotate shoot pieces to ensure that rolled items travel in the correct direction when they reach an inter intersection. So, all right, build a shoot. That sounds like fun. So what do we need to build shoots? Uh, we need uh, one plank. One plank. So that's uh, pretty reasonable. So where do we want to do this? Hmm. I think for now we will take the grain over there and bring it down this way to the grain mill because I want to get rid of this uh, grain patch and we will ask the guy, these guys to put the grain on the chute instead of running all, all the way over there and dropping it off because that is just super inefficient much better to have them the grain run run down the chute here and be delivered to the grain mill fully automatically or almost fully automatically we still have the guys uh, harvesting the grain right so shoot done what's next build a stonemason the stonemason will turn stone into stone bricks then can be used for advanced buildings and roads which allow wagons to travel much faster all right, let's see what we need to build a stonemason. Uh, where do we have stonemason? We have it here. So we need one population, 40 yellow coins, 40 stone, and 10 planks, which we all have. So let's build a stonemason. And I think we'll put the stonemason over here, nice and close to the stone. That unlocked a bunch of new stuff. We can build roads, stone walls, road ramps, stone bridge, stone pillar scaffold, stone arch, and stone bench. So the stone mason is done. So we need to upgrade our base again. Your base can be upgraded further to increase the house limit. Base upgrades will often unlock new res research recipes as well. So yeah, there is research in the, this game as well, but we are not quite there yet. But we will be uh, in not so long. So we need 80 yellow coins. 10 wood wheels, 20 stone brick, and 8 happiness. We only have 4 happiness right now. Uh, so, but what we can do is uh, build some more houses. We will do that right here. Mm. There. More houses. And they will start uh, generating happiness as well. So you can see we're already up to six. But let's uh, get started on making some stone brick and we want to well, get some workers to take the stone and bring it to the stonemason. And then I think what we'll do is we will build a barn uh, just for stone bricks and we will build that I want it. Uh, how do we want it? We'll build that here, like that. And we will get one more worker, and he will take stone brick to the barn. All right. <coughs> As you can see, the grain is now backing up because the uh, input here is completely full, which is is great. What we can do is we can add workers in the grain mill to speed it up a bit, and I think we will do that. Uh, we'll just 
so one extra worker adds 25% uh, production speed. I think we'll put two extra workers in there. And so we're at 150% because producing more uh, flour uh, produces more coin and lets us build a lot of uh, nice stuff. So upgrade the base. We need we still need some stone to do that. Or some stone bricks, sorry. That's fine, we'll get there. How many we have 17 uh, wood wheels stored now, so that's nice. All right, so we're just waiting for some stone brick. While we do that, we can take a look, look around the map and see what we have here. So there are some quite interesting things. So up here, for instance, we have some mana shards, some fire stone, and more mana shards, uh, earth stone, air stone, more fire stone down here, more mana shards. So we do get to magic at some point. Uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. I've just done a, a little quick test game to to learn the keys and such. So uh, I've done the tutorial and that's basically it. So once we get past the tutorial, uh, you will uh, be at the same stage as I have got, gotten to and we'll be learning the game together. So, and uh, we are getting reasonably close to, to finishing the tutorial, so that's nice. Alright, just one more stone brick and we can upgrade the base. There we go, let's upgrade it. And we can build four more houses. But again, we don't need to right now because we just built four houses and we didn't upgrade them yet. So we want to upgrade them before we put down you because we might as well save the space when we don't need the workers. So base upgraded again. Build a general store. A general store, uh, a general goods store can automatically sell planks, stone bricks, and other utility items to nearby houses, just like the food market can sell food related items. So that's nice. Uh, if we take a look at a house here, we can see we're providing food up here. That's the first uh, level thing. And then the second level thing is uh, materials and clothing and tools. So we need to bring some of that uh, to the um, uh, to the general store to generate more coin. And if we take a look in here in the economy, we have uh, the yellow coins, which we're already generating. And then we have the next step is red coins, which we want to start generating as well. And at the moment, I think the easiest way to do that is stone brick. So I think we will build a general store and then get a guy to bring stone brick from the, our uh, brick barn to the general store and start producing one red coin for each of those. So let's build a building and a general store once we have one more stone brick. There we go. And we will put the general store... I think we'll put it here next to the food market so that we are um, more or less overlapping the exact same area. So let's do that. And then we want a worker to bring stone brick to the general store. And I do think we want uh, to produce some more stone brick. So let's get a couple of more workers bringing stone over to the stonemason so that uh, he can produce a little bit faster. And as you can see, we've generated two red coins now because this little dude has brought over some stone brick. But I think we need to upgrade these houses to level 2 as well mm -hmm. because we need more workers and what I actually want to do is I want to 
increase the speed of this if I can. Uh, so how do we do that? Let's get two more workers and tell them to bring stone brick over here as well. And then uh, this should start filling up. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully the input starts filling up fast enough that we can actually uh, add a worker so that we increase the speed. And you, as you can see here, the stonemason actually has a speed of 110% with just one worker in there. But we do want to get it moving faster. And it looks like we can do that now. So let's add a worker so that we're producing stone brick a little bit faster. All right, we built the general store and we are generating red coins. And as you can see, the house now has two happiness. The houses that have been given uh, the stone bricks as well. So that's nice. And we're now up to 11 happiness and it should keep uh, going up hopefully we might need to switch uh, our little guy here out I think we will do that so let's delete you and then build a wagon instead and tell you to go whoops, to, ah, to take that and go there to the general store so that will, uh, the wagon will bring four instead, and you can see, bang, four houses just got uh, stone brick, uh, generating a red coin each, and are up to two happiness. So let's move on in the tutorial. Build a school. A school will let you res research many new buildings and useful technologies. Open the build menu, select building, select school. All right, buildings, school, and we already have the materials we need to build that. So that's nice. And I think I, I know we want to build it relatively close to water because we're going to need a lumber mill to make paper for the school and the lumber mill will need water. And if we place the lumber mill next to the creek here or the river, we it will automatically get water and we won't have to set up a guy to go and collect water for it. So we will build the school there. Now we can make paper. So craft paper. The lumber mill can now produce paper. This recipe requires water. So let's build a lumber mill. And I think we will build it. Well, what's that in the way? Oh, there are carrots in the way. Okay. Uh, so let's do a little bit of leveling here. We can do some leveling of the uh, terrain, or some terrainscaping you might call it. And let's see if we can fit in the lumber mill here now, which we can. And that is great, so let's put that down. And we want it to make paper. And we need some fellas here to bring wood to the lumber mill. Three guys should do it. And you can see the lumber mill is going with the paper. And there we go. We have crafted paper. Complete research. The school will need lots of paper and coins to complete the, uh, the research. Select the school, hit the select recipe button. All right. So we want, I think we'll go with farming uh, to start off with because I want some, to get some farms going uh, as soon as possible, I think. And I don't, I'm not actually sure if, uh, uh, oh, damn it, we can't actually get that out. Can we, uh, let's just delete the school real quick and do like that and build the school again. there set the recipe to farming and because I think as far as I remember no you can see this big sign no 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 which means that this building cannot uh, uh, provide uh, its resources on a shoot 
So we will need to get a guy <coughs> to do that. So let's see, we could upgrade another house uh, or a house again to level three. And uh, we are, they're already level two, right? Yeah. So let's upgrade a couple of houses to level three. And let's, uh, let's actually build a wagon. Uh, we probably won't need it. Uh, because of the short distance, but let's just do it anyway and get some paper going over to the school. And now we can see that the school is researching. And this research actually costs uh, one paper, one red coin, and it takes five seconds per cycle. So we've done three out of 25 cycles now, which is fine. Um, let's see, should we put another worker in here? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's uh, at least temporarily put another worker in there to increase the speed a little bit. Up to 135%. Okay, okay, okay. So we're halfway to the school or to the farming research being done, which is awesome. So I think we might as well upgrade the rest of the houses if we have enough stone bricks, which we don't at the moment. Mm. So that input is actually full. So let's increase the speed some more to this put five workers in there that's max 210 percent speed get some of that stone brick going you need that stone brick so upgrade that all right research is done uh, we can now research animal pastures and we can research medicine Farms will automatically harvest nearby resources and replant them when farm tiles, water, and fertilizer will uh, when depleted. Farm tiles, water, and fertilizer will speed crop growth uh, speeds. All right. So we're, we've actually exhausted the grain patch we had here. So now they're running all the way over there to get it. But we can do something about that. So, oh, end of the tutorial. Tutorial. That's the end of the tutorial. Keep growing your town, completing research, optimizing and automating. All right, excellent. Tutorial done. Okay, so uh, that was episode one of uh, Factory Town. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you next time.